So in login sites, instead of having a curator SOC on a side and SOAR on the other, it's all integrated under the same platform and under the same UI. So the analysts can work very nicely in both environments. So we go on this hamburger where we access the whole thing on login sites and we go on their case management. Let's start by going into cases. We're going to see some of these components later on, but let's uh, focus on the actual cases. And I'm going to select, for example, this particular case. Things to mention. Well, the UI is kind of uh, definitely very nice. Uh, we have the MITRE attack and technique, similar to what we used to see in the actual offenses. But one thing that we see here are the findings, are the artifacts. And I'll show you, I mean, in this particular case, all these things are coming from uh, from uh, login sites, but we can see that uh, they may have, they may come from other sources of telemetry that feed your sword. Uh, in fact, we'll see that in the logs that were collected in here, some of them came from, from uh, EDR and things like that. So let's actually dive into the different tabs that we have here. Let's go into a threat investigator. I particularly like this section quite a bit. Not only the uh, every one of the events, uh, pieces of evidence that have been detected in here, we can see that this is definitely is uh, phishing. We can see all the components. That's uh, that's an EDR component there from a cross strike. Uh, different pieces we, we see indication that uh, there's been some Windows commands being issued there again plenty of information that really allows the person from the source side and now is the whole integrated thing to definitely determine that this is uh, a, f a phishing incident one thing that caught my attention from the very beginning is this section in here, recommended response tasks. So what we see is that we can see how this thing is similar to what Watson used to do, but even further down. So it's not only finding what's bad out there, but actually it's going to the point and say, well, these are the things that I believe you should be doing. Like add the file hashes that we have seen in this investigation to a denied list, right? Maybe to a proxy to prevent, you know, uh, when you detect uh, some of these things, uh, you don't let them uh, actually happen uh, or, or feeding, you know, other reference sets that, uh, that are fed with hashes. Isolate user activity. This Frank Adams has been, you know, the, the guy who got fished. So you definitely need to probably re-image his box and uh, quarantine the system as it's indicating here and he's giving you the IP address uh, that was actually used do scan because obviously this guy has some vulnerabilities that have been exploited again uh, another recommend uh, recommendations for uh, scanning and, and and quarantining so that's very very nice and very unique uh, we did not have those type of things in QReader so a lot of uh, I'm sure that there's some AI that is actually going into extracting from the incidents and providing you recommended action. If you are an expert, uh, SOC and SOAR people, you, you, these things may, may be obvious to you, but if you are not, then it might not be a bad idea to point those out in there. Now, let's take a look at some, some views that are particularly interesting. So instead of seeing the incident, the, the elements being displayed in this sequential way, you know, I think that this view is particularly nice because it goes on a timeline and saying, well, this friend Adams uh, from, you know, this is the, 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 the where, where everything started. This is the MITRE, the initial access, you know, the, the, the phishing. And we, we see the different action. There's some execution in here, so more execution. And we can see under which IP address that actually happened. Very easy to follow and to determine what is it that was done. Lateral movement here, collection data, the exfiltration on the on the actual phishing, and we can scroll to the right and see even more more exfiltration. I think that this this UI is very, very good looking. And that's not 
the, the, the style of a spreadsheet of events one after another that we are used to uh, from the curator, the, the, the basic curator. We also can see all the MITRE things here for this particular incident in more detail and the network diagram on how the actual, the, the actual traffic went. So I think this is pretty cool. Here on the evidence side we see of course all the evidence that has been collected again and this is particular case it only came from login side but you can have other sources and you can either manually click in here and add artifacts let's say that you have a, the, the, a piece of email that you retrieve and you want to add it in here uh, you know whatever is the the artifact that you want to bring along to make sure that you complete your investigation you'll do it in here you can even uh, add extra files and, and drag and drop in here so it's very very nice very conducive uh, type of uh, interface and of course all alone and, and we can see this entry in many in many different uh, parts of the of the case when you close the case you can actually go ahead and generate a case report you know then to document everything that uh, that you have uh, done and you can download such report in case that you want to send it to anybody or do something else with it but what do you do okay you, you have done your investigation but how do you okay you detected phishing how do you go about uh, resolving a phishing incident and that has to do with the task that needs to be performed and this can be either manual or automated and here are the things and these are according to a playbook i'm going to show you the, the playbooks uh, later but the, here's where, where the, the the analysts need to either manually or again some of these things are automated via apis with the different components and um, as, as you keep doing and, and completing every one of them, resolving the case is all about uh, completing all the tasks that, that are actually uh, specified in here for you to actually do. But you're not constrained to the tasks that are given in here. If you have the initiative of say, well, definitely I'm going to do something else that is not even on the playbook or because of the current circumstances, I, I, I think that it's appropriate to do so. You can actually go here and add uh, such a task. And in this particular instance of uh, the cage management on this installation of login sites, I don't have the breach report in here, but that is something that you do. That's, I believe that that's part of the privacy module in which you need to document that a breach occurred to make sure that you comply with whatever laws are require you uh, require you to disclose and properly document uh, what you are actually done right once you have completed all these tasks you will reach a 100 percent completion of it and then it is, it's about time to to generate the actual uh, report uh, documenting that you have dealt with the phishing not just with the detection but also the resolution of the phishing incident uh, quite well. So where are, do you specify the tasks that need to be performed uh, uh, for the resolution of the particular incident? Well, let's actually go under the same navigation. We all, you always refer to that uh, hamburger there on the top. Go here on the case management. I'm going to go to playbooks. Me actually, there's a whole bunch of playbooks in here for the different things you may actually want to do. Let me find one for phishing. Yeah, here it is. So as you can see, this is the, and this is a quite simple, I'm going to see if I find another one that is more complex in here, in which depending on the different type of actions, you perform a sequence of tasks until you complete the actual resolution and this uh, uh, this point indicate that you will go from one to another this is a very straightforward but you may have additional logic that if something evolves in this way you branch that way or this other way let me look for another uh, case that is a little bit more complex than this one the navigation is always you know you revert to the to the hamburger and go to Wherever you want to go, I go under here and go back to playbook and here's how I got here. So let me, I believe that the, I saw this one lock for yay. Uh, it's, yeah, okay, as you can see, this is a little bit more involved and it's a, again, no need to do coding. Uh, all you need to do is uh, drag these items and graphically build the actual 
logic that you want to do for the resolution of the actual case. And many of these steps, as I mentioned before, can be automatically uh, generated. Like, for example, going to the mail server, Office 365, via API keys and retrieve the email or delete the, the email if you know that it's actually malicious or nobody else uh, actually gets to see it. Okay. This is uh, uh, an overview. This I, I don't like to do videos that last more than 10, 10 minutes. Uh, so this I hope I have given you a, a glimpse of what is it that you can do in case management with Loginsight uh, today.